but on many cars there are uh, sediment filters that stop sediment and, uh, and leaves and stuff from getting into your uh, fans and blowing into your cabin so these have to be changed now on my car it says there's still 50,000 k's before one needs to change this so in this video I'm going to show you how to clean this without having to buy a new one. Now yes, I know you must replace this and you should buy new stuff. Obviously if you've got the money you're going to replace this. But there is a way to just uh, refurbish this just by cleaning it. And that's what I'm going to show you. Right, so just having a look, inspecting this filter, you can see, look at all this. Uh, it's hair and there's dust, look at that. It's actually, these compartments are basically full. Uh, look, I mean look at this. This is totally full of sediment so i'm going to show you how to clean this and almost refurbish it get it all fresh and ready for your cabin again now on the other side it's still looking pretty fine but what happens is the sediment actually blocks up and fills up the little micro pores here so i'm going to blow this out i'm going to wash it and i'm going to show you how i go about this now this filter is not the same as the air filter for the engine this is the engine's air filter usually orange in color or yellow this is a micro filter for the cabin this just filters the air takes out the sediment uh, dust and as you saw little hairs and uh, like sand if you're driving a sand road so this is uh, often called a micro filter and here we go i'm just going to refurbish it okay so i have a blower and i'm just going to blow it out remember to blow out from the back so the dirty side must get blown out so there's the dirty side, there's the clean side, and I'm going up. Now, if you are going to blow it out this way, just blow it out, just blow it from the side. Right, now I'm going to take a hose pipe and I'm actually going to wet it completely. And what this does is it makes the sediment heavy. And by making it heavy, it falls out. I mean, you can actually see the color of the water. You can actually see sediment coming out. Actually, the water coming out of here is like brown, actually dark grey. Right, now I want to dry it, so I just put it there. Right, then leave them out to dry. You can see this one is still wet. This one has been drying for an hour. Uh, it'll eventually go uh, even lighter than this. This is the intake side and this is the side for the cabin. So you can see, look at that. So even if I show you a close up, you can see the filter is still intact. Uh, there's no tears here. Uh, be careful when you are blowing into the blow, you don't catch on anything and tear it off the seams here. But overall, I mean, you can look at that. This is now very clean. And looking at the inside, totally clean it actually smells clean whereas before it stunk it actually smelled like gravel so now i can put this back in it's a good idea if you leave it to dry for a few hours in the sun until it's completely dry and then put them back in your car